Je vais vous dire le parasha Lekleha. Vous voyez le parasha qui suit le parasha Noah. Lekleha, ok. Lekleha. Qu'est-ce que ça veut dire? Ça veut dire que vous allez vous battre vous-même. Ok. C'est un peu étrange en anglais. Vous allez vous battre vous-même. Je sais que c'est un peu de traduire que vous allez vous battre vous-même. Mais le vrai sens est que vous allez vous battre vous-même. Ça veut dire que vous allez vous battre vous-même. To encounter yourself, you will go to meet yourself somewhere. When Abraham, when Elohim talked to Abraham, he told him to leave his family and to take his wife and all what he has and to go for a land he never knew before. Why does this parasha? What does Elohim say in the first verse? Go to what you said. Because you know, he knew that now Abraham will face his true nature. As long as we are in our environment, it's always easy. We know everything. We have family, we have friends, we have our house. And all our environment is known to us. But the day we accept the Torah, And this is a challenge which Abraham faced. He had now to put his trust in Elohim. Because where he goes, he didn't know. He will go where he was led by Elohim. And this is our challenge. So the, the Torah, the work of the Torah is the restoration of our soul. Restoration of our soul. And this is very important to understand. If I learn Torah just to know many verses and to quote many verses and it has no impact in my life, I learn for nothing. I learn for nothing. So when we when we go, when we start to work in the Torah as little babies, the first thing is obedience. We know from the book of Shemuel, obedience is greater than sacrifice. So what we have to understand, it doesn't matter what he knows about the Torah or not. The first thing is to obey. Elohim says so, it is so. I don't have to think about that. It will come later, we will learn that. In the beginning, we have to, we have to, to do what Abraham did, just to trust Jehovah. Because it is written, the just shall live by his faith. Unfortunately, the word faith is mis mistranslation. Because the Hebrew word in Buddha do not mean faith that we understand. It is to trust, to rely on somebody. Somebody which is uh, greater and stronger than ourselves. So when we walk in this Emuna, <coughs> we have to forget what we think. Proverbs chapter 3 tells us. Do not rely on, on your own inside, your own understanding. Trust in Jehovah with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your might. When we apply that to our life, no matter what comes, we have somebody who is greater than us and we take care of that. He will take care of us. If we doubt that, we are finished. But if we trust Him, we know that at the end, we will have the victory. You mean when we doubt? When we doubt, yes, okay. the doubt. There is a parasha with the teaching about that.